Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. So Wednesday is what? Wednesday is meal day. So today is the day that I plan all my meals. I go through my refrigerator and I clean it out. I get rid of the trash. I get rid of the science experiments. Um, I see what I have. I write down everything that I'm going to need for my groceries. And then I double check it against everything else. Because I don't want to buy duplicates if I don't have to. All right. So let's get, oh, also don't forget to balance your checkbook so you know you've got enough money for said groceries. Because if you don't, you can always get creative. You'd be surprised at what kind of groceries you can get for little to no money. Okay. So now let's get going with the flight plan. Just some reminders for y'all. Okay. So self-care, dress to shoes, hair, and face. You know, I probably should not have worn a black tank top with this, but it's what I had. Um, did you eat, drink, and be merry today? 15 minutes of loving movement. Remember, people, you can turn cleaning the house easily into a workout. Get yourself sweating by the end of it. Um, did you pamper yourself today? Did you, it is literally snowing again. Do, do, do. Get yourself ready for bed. We are talking wash face, brush teeth, floss, mouthwash, whatever you, that is not the cup that goes there. Whatever you need to do and whatever is in your evening routine, let's get it done. All right. And then did you go to bed at a decent hour last night? And do you have intentions on doing it tonight? Okay, I hope so. Because a rested body is a healthy body. Especially if you've got a ton of stress going on in your life. You need to be rested. All right. Next on our list is our cleaning. Gotta happen. But it only needs to happen with the nine things that are listed here and below. So, your weekly home blessing. Make sure you get those eight minutes done. You will feel better. Your home will look better. Remember, it is blessing, not cleaning. So, don't keep it to the same standards that you would hold to yourself for cleaning. And I know you're going to sit here and you're going to say, but it doesn't work. How is going around piles and stuff going to help? You'd be surprised. Check it out and then get back to me on it. All right. Get the forks put away here. Okay. Uh, make your bed, preferably with nobody else in it. Did you swish and swipe the bathroom? It's only 90 seconds to make sure that if somebody shows up, you can let them use your bathroom and not tell them that they have to go and hit the gas station down the road. Did you get your laundry? Is it actively going or... Oh, Thanks for the reminder, my laundry's sitting in the wash machine. My old washer and dryer had wonderful buzzers that were so annoying. There was no way I was not gonna get them. My new one doesn't have any buzzers. I don't like that. So I use my phone for a buzzer. All right. Um, dishes, do them throughout the day if you possibly can to make sure that when you get home or when it's time for dinner and you've got this many dishes if you didn't do them because you got that little bit of energy and it's not fun. So then don't forget to shine your sink at the end of the night so you're not waking up to today's mess tomorrow morning. 
Hot spots, three of them, two minutes each. Get the impact areas. Room rescues, three of them, five minutes each. You can do it. Your mission for today, you're going to tackle the flat surfaces. Hot spot fire drill, okay? So like here, hot spot, no. Everything on the tray gets used consistently. Hot spot over there, yes. Constantly having to put stuff away. So 15 minutes, set your timer. AM calendar check. What appointments do we have going on for today? What did we forget about? Then what's for dinner tonight? And what three goals do we say we were going to accomplish today? Because remember, we don't want to fit to ourselves. We want to do this stuff. And then, of course, your PM calendar check this evening. Uh, what appointments do we have for tomorrow? What is for dinner tomorrow night? What goals are we going to set for ourselves? Set up your launch pad, including making lunches, your coffee pot, your purse, your keys, your wallet, your planner, your briefcase, whatever you need to get the day started. And then don't forget to lay out your clothes. That is it for those of you without kids. Remember to be happy, be healthy, be here and be you. And I am so proud of you. For those of you with kids, here we go. Did they get dressed to shoes, hair and face? Did they eat, drink and be merry today? Did they get ready for bed? Wash face, brush teeth and everything possibly with us. And then of course, did they go to bed at a decent hour? They're cleaning. Did they make their bed? Did they do their zone in their room? Today, let's say it's the floor. Getting everything picked up and put where it needs to go for the floor. And then did their chores get done? Planning. Schoolwork done, checked off in the backpack, ready to go. Launch pads set up by them, double checked by us. And are their clothes laid out for tomorrow? Remember, Anything that is duplicated between ours and theirs, try to do it at the same time. That way we're setting a good example. We're also then making sure that we're doing it because we want them to do it. So have a great one. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye.